So module one is about two-dimensional incompressible inviscid aerodynamics. And uh, the primary goal for this module is to understand the generation of lift on an airfoil, right? So just a, um, a really high level cap is that the lift is generated by the pressure difference between the two sides of an airfoil. And uh, uh, this figure over here essentially shows that at different angle of attack for the same airfoil, right? Uh, what is the pressure distribution on the upper side and the lower side? For example, at zero angle of attack, uh, what you can see is that uh, there is a difference uh, between the pressure in the lower and upper side, right? Illustrated by the shaded region. If you integrate the pressure difference along the core of the airfoil, you pretty much get the lift, right? The, the uh, other effects like viscous effects, they have an impact on the lift, but very minor compared to the pressure forces. So pressure is really the primary uh, contribution to the lift on an airplane. And uh, our two-dimensional incompressible inviscid aerodynamics really explains how the pressure, why is there a pressure a difference between the uh, suction side and the pressure side uh, of an airfoil and uh, uh, really qualitatively and quantitatively explain the lift. Now, speaking of lift, I mean, this is a, a really, really one of the most uh, important ways humanity has been using the forces of fluid. If you really want to have a really hands-on intuitive understanding of uh, what lift is, I mean, how many people fly kites or do kite surfing or things like that? Right? You raise your hand if you uh, fly kites or do kite surfing. I mean, the, the kind of kites uh, that's really useful for kind of having a hands-on understanding of lift is, is this kind of uh, either three-line, at least the two-line kites or four-line kites. Very good, very good. We have uh, maybe uh, a third of the people. So, so, I mean, if you do this, you really have a hands-on understanding of uh, what lift is and how they change as the velocity and angle of attack changes, right? And you can really have a hands-on feeling of how powerful this force is. I mean, it can lift you off uh, easily uh, uh, over the ground. So this is the same kind of uh, a force an airplane has. And the way you generate this kind of lift is through flow over an airfoil, right? This is the kind of kites that uh, this person is flying. And uh, uh, the kites are really formed by airfoils. So airfoils are really the most uh, useful way or most efficient way we have found to generate lift, which is the most useful and effective way we have been using fluid flows across all kinds of applications.